Welcome to Soda Geeks. I'm Devin. I'm Connor. All right, this week uh, we've got a nice cola. I actually, I'm not sure that it's a cola. It may just be a soda. It doesn't say, but it is Fentimins. Mm -hmm. We've done had a couple cherry of Fentimins before. We did cherry the cherry tree. tree. That one tasted like a. It started with a G. I don't and. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, ginger ale. oh, ginger like a ginger ale. ale. And I've had, uh, I've had just their Curiosity Cola, which is dang yeah. good. This is Fentiman's Traditional Dandelion and Burdock. Dandelion sounds like a flower to me. It is. Well, that's what it, dandelion is. What? Why would they put it there? Why would they make a flower into a soda? Well, they make dandelions into wine. There's dandelion wine. Uh, fermented botanical dandelion and burdock drink with ginger extract. So again with ginger. Um, so we'll try this rule. Um, Fentimans hasn't let us down yet. I, I've liked everything they've mm -hmm. done so far. So open that up. Caramelly color. <laughs> First drink. Oh, that's weird. That's different. It's kind of refreshing, though. I don't know. You got to look on your face like you're not a big fan. It's so different mm -hmm. that you gotta you gotta give it a second. Tastes like some kind of weird grape to me. I don't know. A raisin. I think it, like a raisin. It tastes to me. It does ha it, it does have a hint of a fruity taste, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. It's it's very mild though. It's very mild, so uh, you have a few drinks to actually like it. <laughs> yeah. First you're like, eh, and then it's just like, oh, yeah, it's so mild that at first you're just like, okay, that's um, nothing. Yeah. But uh, but the, there's it's heavy on aftertastes, and it's very kind of yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I can taste the dandelions like, or the yeah, flowery yeah, the thing, flowers. but I think it's only in my mind because we're reading that that's what it is. <laughs> uh, don't get too far away. And, uh, but it's, that's got to be it. It's got to be just that we're reading it. I don't think. Yeah, I don't know if it tastes like that. Just for, like our minds are like, uh oh, it says flowers. <sighs> I don't know what that hint is that, that I'm tasting, though, but. I don't know if that's the ginger extract or what, but there's a hint of something that's somewhat fruity. Uh, yeah. Fruity, yeah. I don't know. Um, we're both still drinking it, obviously, though, so <laughs> it's, it's not bad at all. It's, um, this yeah. is different, though. I got to say, I can't even classify this. I don't know I don't what know. it is. I guess it, it's kind of a cola. Yeah, hold on, let's do it. It's just... It's... Kind of reddish, brownish when you put it in the light. It looks it, like a cola. But it just looks plain black when it's not. But, and, uh. And it has a little writing right here. Botanically brewed, it says. It's on the, it's actually blown in the bottle, it says that. Um, now and it's just, shaped just like all the other bottles. Now it differenter to me, I don't know. Differenter. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is. I, it, it's very difficult to explain. Uh, I mean, taste. Te I'd like to have taste tested it without knowing what it is to see if I'd still taste that flowery kind of so when spring. Someone would be like, someone be, be like, here. It's uh, like there's there's no label on this. Just just drink it. Mm. It's like the taste of it is the smell of spring or something. I. <laughs> um. All right. So uh, that, may, that makes this difficult to rate. Out of five because I I'm not I don't think I would go and buy it again necessarily but if someone handed it to me I would drink it yeah. it's not bad uh, I'll give it a three, three. point three point five I'll go three point five I say three I say just a notch above liked it just for the because it's different and I might want to maybe I would want to try it again just to mm -hmm. see okay now that I've had it the one time let me see if my palate adjusts but. Uh, Taste buds. It gets a passing score, though. It gets a passing score. Uh, yeah, I give it a three. All right. It's okay, but...
And, uh, okay, so and remember, if we ever do get these posted, we do have an email address, sodageeks at gmail.com, right? So, uh, in the meantime, thank Enjoy we, soda. Yeah, enjoy a soda this week.